Fuck. Everybody, welcome to the first ever TTM radio session. Today we have my boy. Hi, Dante Russo. Yeah, he is one of the TTM members, and today we also have. Zachary Ursum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's being a little weird right now. No, no. No, not me. Yeah, you. No. Uh, yeah, you. No. Yeah, you. Well, guys, welcome to the TTM radio session, episode number one. Today, we're going to be talking about some submarines. We're going to be talking about some movies and maybe some bacon. What? Yeah, all right, let's. Okay. We honestly didn't know that Josh. No, okay. What so his topic was before this. We decided, hey, we're each gonna bring a topic to the table. I have not disclosed my topic. Why Dante, on the other hand, huh? I switched my topic. This was fast food. Fast food. That's what you told us. No, he switched. I it today. switched it. Oh my god. <laughs> we were I at Publix, it. and he's like, "I changed my mind." I changed my mind. Okay. I changed my mind. So, okay, but actually, away, Josh. before we get into our topics. I want you guys to understand our location right now. We're in a garage. We are in a garage. A hot and sweaty. A really hot and sweaty. I was garage. just airing out. <laughs> we were all airing out. <laughs> we 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 were. I started it, and then Dante was like, "Oh, let me get in on this." It was nice. It felt breezy. <laughs> it bro. really. It My actually, butt cheeks are no, like, really actually, sweaty. No, like actually, no, it really did. It, like, it, I, 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 that over there, the air conditioning good. unit, whatever it is. The AC. The fan. Didn't the portable do AC unit. Maybe it's because we have. <laughs> And two yeah, actually, let me give you, let me visualize this for you guys. We have a crap ton of monitors, two Xboxes, one being a freaking beastly one. Yeah. And one, mine's just the Xbox Series X. And then we have a Joe Rogan poster. We've got a laptop, we got two PC towers, um, some lights. And then a Joe Rogan poster. And a projector. And the, no, we're not bringing that back. <laughs> We are not bringing that here. We have a Hatsune Miku poster somewhere. Where is that? Can you hang Zach, up can you me, go please? get the Hatsune Miku poster? Guys, Zach is addicted to Hatsune Miku. When he pulled it out for us to show us that he still had no, it, it was no. really crusty. <laughs> it was really <laughs> he, crusty. He opened it, and I hear his... <laughs> and I'm crinkle, like, crinkle, oh, crinkle, 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 crinkle. okay. And now he's hanging it on the garage door. Where's the... Oh, okay. All right. I'm not going to tell you what he just did. Um... <laughs> That's okay, bro. Either. You don't Is need it on anything. the floor. Yeah, just let it be on the floor. It's okay. Fine. Well, guys, it's really hot in here. It's summer, Florida time. It's like so it's like 80 degrees outside. It is 82 right now. It is 82 right and now. And it's 10 o'clock. So case in point, it's hot. It's hot in here. Take off all your clothes. To no. Sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> don't do that. All right. All right. All right. We also have a dog in here. We also have a dog in here. Her like, name is Moxie. Moxie. What a dog doing? Moxie. Moxie, come, come say hi. I'm one-handing her. Oh, God. <laughs> Just dropped the dog. Your mic she does not want to talk. My microphone's popping? Yeah, I'll plug it, plug it back in. Guys, this is episode one. We're having some technical difficulties is here. Is that better? I'm still doing it. Oh, okay. Well, is it bad? that's pretty great. Right here? No? Okay. Well, we're just going to carry on because that's just what we do. So... First of all, I would just like to say, to get all the rumors out of the way, um, the OK never existed. I don't know. But basically, if you guys ever what heard about that? the OK podcast, it never happened. Um, nothing about it ever happened. You never heard about it. No relations to any other organizations what, what? That ever was mentioned. Oh. But basically... 
yeah, no, that hap that was a phase. We did that, but now we're, it's gone. We had to shut her down. What? And now what we're are here. we talking about? What's the okay? I don't know, but like I hear people talking about it all the time. Dude, like, I was at Publix the other night and I heard about it. I know. Some little girl was just like, "You heard about the okay?" And we're like, "I was like, what?" But basically, all I know is that I got shut down because of organizations. Moxie Pickle Boop. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Uh. Oh. <laughs> 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 it sounds so bad. Oh, there's like <laughs> five chunks. No! Sag! <laughs> Sag, you can't. Oh my god. Stop, yes it is. is. Uh, oh my god, bro. Oh You're my gosh. So Moxie took a dump behind Dante. What do you do about that word he just said? What's that word? I don't know. But we're not going to repeat it, that word, okay? <laughs> I'm so, I'm so. <laughs> Oh yeah, Zach. Is it a little warm? Okay. Dude, so, can he get some Febreze? I don't know. Dude, tell him to get some Febreze. Zach, <laughs> that's not gonna do anything. Zach. The door's closed. Zach, Zach can he, he can hear us through his headphones. Zach, can you get us Febreze, please? Zach, please. I need. We need Febreze. It's really bad. Like, it's really. Apparently, it's, it's bad. I can't smell anything. Zach, but it's pretty Josh, bad. come over here. No, I'm good. I can't smell that much, so I'm fine. Uh, guys, I'm get just. I just got over a cold. There's a mark. I'm like really congested. There's so. a skid mark. Yeah. Dante, you want to elaborate on why we felt the need to do a TTM branded podcast? Uh, cuz Lee started already. Oh, he got the Febreze. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a very interesting way to spray it. Get some over here. I just farted. Ah, uh, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> um, the reason we started this is because we were like, okay, bud. Is because we wanted to expand our brand. We wanted to be out there for our listeners on yeah, Spotify. Yeah, we wanted more options <laughs> for and our iTunes. viewers I to intake more content. And Is guys, iTunes or Apple this iTunes? podcast will hopefully be more frequent than our upload patterns. We haven't posted a YouTube video in five months. Yeah, and this will be the first one probably <laughs> in five months because we're also because we're going to get this uploaded on YouTube, because on cool Spotify, like on, on Apple Podcasts. Apple Tunes. Apple Tunes. Yeah, I actually called it Apple Tunes. Apple Apple Podcast. And whatever else is out there. Um you the it'll heck? be in the description down below. Um, yeah. So you'll see all the all the links, all the places, and you'll see it on our social media. Speaking of, follow us on Instagram. What's our Instagram again? Let me check. I have no idea. It's like underscore underscore underscore. Okay, let's go over okay. this. Okay. Alright. <coughs> Dante, you got it. It is three underscores. Period, the three musketeers. Period, three other underscores. I think. Okay, so that there you have it. That's our Instagram. Yes. And if you want to see us post sometimes on TikTok, we're over there too. But yeah, guys, go follow us on social media. Keep up with us. We're so really that way cool people. You never miss an upload of the TTM radio sessions. Also or follow us on TikTok. Regular YouTube. I just said that. I'm sorry, dude. It's okay. Hey, Zach, okay. Why, why are you sitting like that? Comfortable and I'm right in front of the AC. Okay. Well, let's get into our first topic. Let's get into our first topic. That's who what I just said. who wants to go Zach. first? Josh. No, my my topic's too funny to go first. Oh my god. My topic's sad, so I can, I feel like I should go in the middle. No, you should. You go should first. go first. Um. So have we heard about the the five people on the submarine or the yes, Titanic thingy? Have, I've yeah. seen. I've played the Roblox game. I'm fine. You played the Roblox game? There's a Roblox game? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of dark. We're playing it early. Uh, did you, yeah, we were. Did you guys see the video of it imploding? It imploded. Oh. Let me ex- well, let me get this up. What? Up here, bud. It I'm, I'm not joking. It, it, it what the flip? It died. It so like they ran out of oxygen? They ran out of oxygen. And they were 1,600 feet under. Oh, they found them? They found them, but they they exploded. They exploded. Oh, so they found them. Did, did they find the bodies? No, because their heads were gone. Like, everything was exploded. Like, because it exploded. Imploded. If I had Wi-Fi, I could get it up. Is there Wi-Fi working? Nope. That's fine. But Okay. Well, um, basically, it imploded? Yeah, it completely... There was a video I saw on TikTok this morning where these two guys are on a server. Oh, it's back up. Um, oh, sweet. Here, let me play this for you guys. Yeah. You guys will not see what we're seeing because um, we just can't have – we don't have that capacity. Uh, and nor do we have the proper setup to do that yet. But what I might edit in. If Zach wants to put up a little 
quick little five second Love clip you. of it going kaboom. Here you go. We're going normally editing it. But yeah. Your PC decided to go boom boom. Yeah, my laptop died, so I can't edit anything. I'm so that's pretty swanky. It. Dante's taking forever to freaking. You guys it. keep talking. Hold on, I'm gonna find it. I'm what? Are, but we're on your topic. Okay. Yeah, people, you so yeah, we have so to. So really, have to what leave. happened was it just kind of just it was controlled by an old like PS2 controller. Uh huh. With really really long Joy Cons for some reason, but <laughs> and the guy that created the whole organization, the whole submarine Titanic uh -huh. stuff, was in a lot of deep crap. So he was like, "Let me go on this." He was like, "Let me just like run away," you know, just kind of like. So he did. So he like ran away on the sub. He didn't run away. He went, so he didn't have to deal with the problems. But then, like now, he doesn't have to deal with the problems because he's like dead. But like, wow. Okay. Yeah, it was he really. I think I found the video. Did you really? Yeah, I saw it on TikTok. Is it somewhere. a visual visualization? No, it's a whole video. Of oh. the sub imploding. Yeah. How do they have that? Uh, other submarines. Other oh like. Oh, the aftermath? Yeah. like the Oh, straight. not the actual implosion, but the aftermath. It's kind of the aftermath, I'm pretty sure. It's Where loading. is it? I'm trying. I thought I saw it. Man, okay, guys. Dante's not that tech savvy. Like, I'm really not. Even with Google, he's like not quite there yet. Let's see if Zach can find it faster. But yeah, just so you guys know, the seats for this sub was $250,000 yeah. a seat. So... You had to have some money to go to go on this. So everybody that was on this was like pretty cool. And I saw a TikTok of one dude who was on it that was like ha in a lot of trouble with like the police and everything. I didn't and I think that's who you're talking about, but it was like the son of a billionaire or whatever. And like he basically was like Oh, it's not going to play cuz my head. Oh, I I have problems with the cops so i'm gonna just go on a getaway real quick so literally it what i saw this morning is that i can't find the video but it it, it completely just exploded wow. debris was everywhere they were 1600 feet underwater okay. all five are dead of course but um yeah wow it's it's it, it's interesting that because interesting. what's the point of doing that when you saw what happened to the titanic if you went that close to it I, yeah, if no, me personally, like, I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't, wouldn't now knowing that there was that, that you, um, you had, you, they freaking died. Yeah. Probably beforehand if it wasn't so flippin' expensive too, but maybe if it was more readily accessible and done properly if it was done properly and didn't have a ps2 I think it's controller a cool idea. let's go see the remains of the titanic at the bottom of the ocean that's kind of cool it's cool to think about but like now knowing that like the people that were doing it freaking died doing it i don't want to do it anymore <laughs> yeah. okay yeah. that's the topic that dante had this is audio footage of the titanic Explo implosion. That's the noise it made. Boom. Yeah, so it completely just died. Wow, okay. Well, that's pretty yeah. cool. So they started running out of oxygen in all days. Like, yeah. Like, through the days. Because they only had, like, what, 90-something hours of oxygen? Yeah, and it was really small. Mm -hmm. So imagine five people and smaller than this garage. Yeah, from way, me, way, way smaller. From me to you, Josh. Yeah, basically. Is, like, five feet. Maybe. Maybe about, not. About, about two, two and a half yards. Yeah, maybe. And that's what it basically was. Maybe to that fan behind me, but. Yeah. But, yeah. So, that's, that's, I didn't know it, like, imploded. Yeah, it imploded. I just heard, like, they're lost. We don't know what happened. Yeah, they were uh, lost yeah. for, like, three days around that, and then they so imploded. So, actually, a, a video came out of the guy talking about, like, how he made it. Yeah. And he said that. Basically, he, when he was making it, he did something he wasn't supposed to do yeah. in making it. He mixed materials of the of the shell of the submarine, which you're not supposed to do because when put underneath a high am amount of pressure, apparently, they they like freaking like yeah. When die. you're under that type of 
amount of water, it was 1,600 feet, like I said. Oh, yeah. Your head implodes first, I uh-huh. learned. My girlfriend told me that. Like, your head just explodes. Mm. Yeah, I know. So that's what happened to them first, and then boom, and then it imploded, and now their body somewhere on the water. Gotcha. Interesting. That's insane. I know. It's weird, right? Well, Zach. Zach what's your topic? On a lighter note, what do you want to talk about? Who? You. Oh, me? Yes. Yeah. What do you want to talk about, Zach? Oh, my topic was about movies. Movies? What about movies? Uh, but my favorite movie. So, like, what movie ranks are the best? Hey, this mm. is according to Google, but from my point of view, my favorite movie was Big Hero 6. But now it's Zootopia. Yeah, you were watching uh, that in my car yeah. the other day, you iPad kid. Yeah, yeah. Zach is an iPad kid, for those who don't oh know him personally. Gosh. He is an <laughs> iPad kid. I'm telling you. Best purchase ever. $105. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Josh, what's your favorite movie? Harrison Ford is a fugitive. Uh, Dante? Beetlejuice. Huh? Tim Burton, Beetlejuice. Mm. That's good. I feel like early Tim Burton's better. Oh, I remember what my first topic was going to be. Go for it. If I'll do okay. both. Do both. I'll do both my topics because, you know what, we got time. We got so much time. We got time. Yeah, we do. So. so wait, wait. My topic's not over yet. Uh, okay. Oh, my, my, my bad. My, my bad. My bad, bud. So, according to Google, the first top-rated movie is Avatar. Which Avatar. I just said Avatar. Just, okay, so it's probably... Can I explain my opinion on Avatar? Go for it. I feel like with Avatar, the first one wasn't bad. Okay, straw hat, Goofy. Shut up. (laughs) The first (laughs) one wasn't bad, but I feel like when you tell me to wait 10 to 15 years for the second one... Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I'm going to get bored. I'm going to get bored. And it not even being that good. It wasn't like my... I thought the second one was, was, like, pretty decent, but... Did you think it lived up to the standards of the first one? No, it was way too overhyped. I thought the first one for its it time. Was, it was overhyped, mm-hmm. but, like, it was still good. The first one for its time wasn't bad. Oh, no, like, uh, I, thought, I thought the first one was But great. I feel like the way, even the land at Animal Kingdom's not bad. No, yeah. But it's very small and very boring after a while. Animal Kingdom? Just the land, the Avatar, like, area. Well, it's okay. listen, yeah. I really like the Avatar area in Animal Kingdom. Yeah, because you're weird. <laughs> well, okay, hold What's on. Your, do you like the riverboat well, ride? Because I know the one of the people who worked on building it okay. and like designing it, so I know all like the ins and outs and details on how it was made and like all the special secrets and like architecture <laughs> behind it. My friend, it's so cool. My old friend's dad was a cast member, so I got to go like right really really early. Yeah, and the Descendants cast was there. So this was before Cameron oh, Boyce. Oh, I heard about that. This was before Cameron Boyce died. This yeah. is when all of them were there. So I mm-hmm. got to meet them. That's they walked so off cool. And I, like, yeah. I heard about that happening. Yeah, they did it for a Disney commercial, like uh-huh. Disney Channel commercial. But I feel like it's cool, but I feel like the two rides they have in there. No, I think the two rides that they have, like the way of the water ride or whatever mm-hmm. it is, mid. Like it's it's not the, the, the riverboat banshee ride, not the, the banshee the ride. Banshee. The ri- no, uh, no, 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 the, the banshee's, banshee's not, not the bad. One. The okay, the the water ride. Yeah, whatever it is, it's it's not, it's not bad for like what it's going for, because mm-hmm. like they have one of the most advanced animatronics in there, so like that's pretty cool. That's cool. That is cool, but the whole, as a whole, it is kind of boring and not worth the wait. Yeah. Like it once you go on it once. You don't need to go on it again. The Banshee ride, however, I will do any time of the day. I think it's cool. I think it's great. I love it. It's not bad. It It's just very much new. It feels very much like Soaring, but newer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, which is I, not bad. I'm here for. But I feel like... I think, it, I think when it comes to... Like nitpicky, mm-hmm. nitpicking Disney rides. It's all personal opinion. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, like yeah. for you with Tower of Terror. Oh my God! Don't get me started. I freaking <laughs> hate <laughs> Tower of Terror. And took Josh on Tower of Terror, and he was very. He, they, I hated they did it for a lightning it. lane. They had a lightning lane, and Josh hated it. I hated it. But bro. he went again with 
his girlfriend, uh-huh. and you didn't, you didn't, you said you didn't have much of a problem. I didn't have as bad of a problem, but I still had a problem. I was like freaking nervous the whole time. I feel like that's how it is. Like she was, like she was telling me, she's like, I've never seen you this nervous about yeah. anything, and I was like, yeah, because I hate this. Yeah, because it was holding your hand. That's what made you nervous. <laughs> uh, yeah, totally. Do you. Yeah. I think it's that. I think like that, like Coward Terror. I mean, Zach, Zach, you like Coward Terror, right? Sort of. That makes my stomach feel weird. <laughs> See what I mean? It's like a, it's a personal preference. Yeah, I just, ugh, I don't like it. But, but okay. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Continue with you. What are we talking uh, about? Your movies. My topic. What's What's the next rated movie? So, first of all, Avatar was the second one. Yes. The first one was Gone with the Wild. I don't even know what that movie is. What's Gone that? with the Wild? Yeah, I don't even know what that movie is. iPhone. <laughs> I got it. iPhone. And then the third one would have been Titanic. Oh, uh, that movie's been... garbage. Is it Gone with the Wild or Gone with the Wind? Gone with the Wild. I think that's what it is. Yeah, and then Star Wars, of course. Which Star Wars? All of them. Huh? I just think all of them. So it's actually gone. Okay, there's no such movie as Gone with the Wild. I think it's, it's Gone, gone with, the, with wind. the Wind. So same difference. It's 1939, Romantic War. Pretending. Oh, I know this movie. I've heard about it. I've just never seen I've it. I've watched it. I know this. Yeah. Okay. Gone with the Wind. Really? Weird. Out of everything, Gone with the Wind I takes like third. What even? It, what is it about? It's like. It's a, it's a, it's like a, a dude, I don't remember, it's, it's, th- it's like three and a half hours, so I don't remember. I feel like, you know what would top that? Avatar. Well, yeah, because it literally does. No, he said second. The first one was Gone with the Wind, you said, right? No, yeah. no, 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 no. no. First, first is. Gone with the Wind. Wait, what? Yeah. According There's to- no way. Wait, no. I pulled it up, that's the first thing that. First thing that p- the number one movie and you history? know what I feel like would top that Endgame, Endgame, or Alfred Hitchcock's The Bird, like you know something? Freaking what? I've never watched Endgame. Castle You never watched Endgame? Never watched it. Oh my god! I don't gosh. have the patience, dude. You are such a child. Like Castle Blanca takes the cake over, over Gone with the Wind. Yeah, I agree. Have you watched Castle Blanca? I've seen clips of it. I have it's never watched such it. Such a good movie. You know, like when you go on YouTube and you watch like little movie yeah, clips. Yeah, that's yeah. what I've done. Casablanca is so good. Anyways, what else, Zach? You got anything else for Zach? No. no? It's up for Josh. Okay, so here, here we go. Here's my first original topic that I was gonna have. Zach's giving me a weird glare. Oh, I got a notification for Pokemon Go. Thanks. I don't care. Okay. So, what is the number one fast food chain in the world? I don't think it would be McDonald's. Because I feel like it's well known. No, it's obvious. Gotta be Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A or Burger King? Or Taco Bell. No, it's McDonald's. Is it really? Yeah. Really? No, it's McDonald's is number one in the world. Now, okay. what is number two? This is a hard one. I guarantee you... Wait, these- None of you are gonna guess it. You are not gonna guess it. Kane's. Burger? No. And no. What is it? In and out? No. No, In and Out's uh California only. Uh, I don't know. It? You're not gonna guess it. You're gonna you're gonna hate me for it. Arby's? No. <laughs> it's Subway. That's not shocking. Yeah, it's kinda good though. Subway can be good. If you're on a budget. Yeah. If you're on a budget and you want a Sammy, go to Subway. At Subway, I used to just get cheese and Italian bread. Now, number three. Chick-fil-A. Nope. Wendy's? No. Taco Bell. No. Whataburger. No. I've never had that burger. Uh, it's like in like Texas only, oh. I think. It's Yeah, it's a Texas. What thing. is it? Starbucks. I that fast that's not fast. It is. It's. It's considered fast food. It is considered because fast food. It what is they do? number three. That is the top three fast food chains in the world. Okay, I understand the first two. 
Starbucks is fast food because they make their food, they freeze it, and then they warm it up. It's, it, it they is, warm no, up it's considered a oven. fast food chain. Okay. Just because their priority is drinks doesn't mean okay. it still falls under the fast food category. I, I can see that, but it's one of those things where it's like – You wouldn't think it's fast food. I wouldn't food. think it. Yeah, no, you don't consider Starbucks as fast food. I wouldn't be like, yo, you want to go to my favorite fast but food like, place? Well, Let's listen. go to Starbucks. It's the sa- it's the same exact thing though. Yeah. Like it has a drive through. You can walk in. You can order ahead. You can still order food. You know what I saw who had a drive through the other day? Who? What? Speaking of subway, subway. You saw a subway drive through? Yeah, I was what? driving to. It's over by. Yeah. The Wawa. I was driving to Old Winter Garden. Really? And I was passing that, that plaza. subway has a drive through. Yeah. Oh. So what, what you do is you put your phone number in. Your sandwich is already saved. So you just click on what sandwich gotcha. you want yeah. that you got last time. Oh, I didn't know that. There's a lot in Illinois. Shout out. Okay, hold on. Wawa, underrated. I agree. They have good food. They have great food. Their, their hoagies are good. Their I got their freaking, like, uh, club sandwich or whatever. Or you like, know they serve burgers? They serve burgers. What? They yeah. serve burgers. We need to go do that They're tomorrow. not good, but they're not bad either. They. I think I got, like, their freaking, like, avocado BLT or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Gosh, their smoothies, goaded. Their like coffee drinks, goaded. Their like general, like uh, groceries and whatever, pr- like standard to like gas station mm-hmm. groceries, and is it's just great. I feel like. Oh, hold on, this is really funny. So I went to I was had to drop off my older sister at like a, a like doctor's appointment or something. And me and my mom were going back because I had to go to work. And she was like, hey, I want to stop by a Wawa. I want to get, like, a oh, something for breakfast real quick because it's, like, 839. Yeah. So we go in there. I'm like, I don't want something crazy. I just want, like, bagel cream cheese. Classic. Classic, yeah. right? I, I, Yummy. The, okay, so when you get a bagel, the option is light or regular cream cheese. Yeah. Or, like, light or extra cream cheese or something like that. So I I choose extra cream cheese. The cream cheese in between my bagel was I kid you not half an inch thick. Yeah, what? all the way through, all the way through, and all the way around. The cream cheese what was literally for? half an inch thick. Okay, when you say extra, I I will think like maybe you put you no, swap a yeah. spoon on there and yeah. say, okay I'm gonna spread it around. Yeah, I that's what I was thinking. But no, it, the cream cheese through and through the whole bagel was like half an inch thick. I was like. Whoa. Okay. This is like cream cheese with a side of bagel. Huh. Huh. You hear they uh-huh. open up a new Wawa? Huh? It's over by the Portillo's. It just opened up the just what? yesterday. Are you talking about the one near the that high school? The Portillo's and the White Castle? You know where that area is? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I drive? Lake Buena Vista yeah. area. Right it near Disney Springs. Up. Isn't the White Castle and I drive? Yeah, know. it's, it's over by quote, uh, I drive, spot. But somewhere. It's over in that I'm area. Not sure. No, it's I don't. Not. I don't like. Um, it's it's over in that area. I don't like those burgers. I'm not gonna it's lie like, with you. I've never yeah. had White Castle, so they. I try to get onions taken off, and they they kept them on. <laughs> and I was like, I hate onions. I hate onions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have another topic. What was my other topic? Uh, bacon. <laughs> oh yes. All right. Here is the question of the ages. Would you rather have have bacon? Bacon. But no games. But no games? Yeah. Bacon, but no games. Or games. Every single game that you can think of. All the games, but no games. What? You hurt my brain. Yeah, my brain hurts. Come on, think about it. No, come on. This is very simple. I feel like I I'm not a big bacon eater. When I yeah, I'm not. I I saw Jacob bacon, making bacon a couple hours ago, and I was like, nah. Bacon with no games, or all games but no games. I think all games. All games. Yeah, it's no all games. games but no games. I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'd be fine with that. But it's all games with no games. Josh, you're really hurting my head. 
Like, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I don't care. I hate bacon. Sometimes. Shout out, Jay Schlatt. I love you. Thank you for the awesome joke that I'm definitely stealing from you. The uh-huh. Knuckle Sandwich Podcast. Uh-huh. I love you uh-huh. guys. You guys are so funny. Beep. Okay, that's all I got. That's all the topics I have. Um, What's your favorite TV show? TV show? It's nothing American. It's all Japanese. That's fine. Okay, hold on. I have to pick American one. Dad. Did you just say American Dad? You know I've Dad? never been able to get into American Dad. You never, you, you've never watched it's it? It's basically no. the okay. freaking... So I've watched it. Uh, the Peter Griffin show or whatever I've it's watched it. I've watched... Wait, I've watched it, wait, wait, two wait, seasons. What is, what is the show called? Family Guy? Fam- yes, okay. I, <laughs> I, I, I called it the so Peter Griffin. So I've watched Family Guy. I've watched Rick and Morty. I've watched Bob's Burgers. I've watched all those Fox TV shows, Rick and Morty. Yeah. But I've never been able to get into American Dad for one Isn't reason. Isn't American Dad like the same thing? Yes, for one reason though. Why? It's just not... It, d- it doesn't appeal to me. It's not funny. And it's not because it's American. No, like, that's funny. <laughs> but it's more of the fact of, I feel like they're just ripping, like, it's just Family Guy. I'm just watching Family Guy. Same jokes, same everything. Just watching Family Guy Part 2? I-, I would rather watch just Family Guy because it's like, okay, that's original, that's funny. But then I go to American Dad, I'm like, this is not funny. <laughs> but I could, I, I could see why. For some people, it's funny. But what's your favorite TV show, Josh? Just said it. Um... I'm trying to pin it down to from two different ones. Uh, well, it's nothing in America, that's for sure. What is it? It's a Japanese anime. Okay. I I really like it. It's called Hori Mia. It's a romance comedy. It's funny as hell. Oh wait, I can't say that. It's funny as, as heck. heck. I really like it. It's it's super funny. If you like anime, try give it a go. Um it's like 12 episodes. They're all like 20 something minutes. It's easy to watch. It's funny. If you want to try anime, I'd suggest that don't start with Naruto. Naruto's like a bajillion like literally yeah. 800 episodes. Don't I, don't I do Naruto. I started with Avatar. Huh? When I start, when I watched, used to watch anime. I started with Avatar. Last year, okay. I thought that I, was I, good. the only thing I say to new anime watchers is don't watch something with like a bajillion episodes. Yeah. So, cause then you can kind of, why is okay? Hold on, guys. <laughs> just I wanna I wanna fill you in on what Zach's doing right now. Zach has a projector, and he's projecting it onto the ceiling. And basically, he's playing Family Guy on the ceiling. With no audio. It's just Family Guy. Oh, that's true. That's what you know. That's are you are you listening to it on your headphones? Oh my gosh, this guy. Is it coming through the recording? Nope. Oh my gosh, okay. What? Okay. He's, no, it's literally just a Family Guy episode. What? On the, the ceiling. Flip? Heck yeah. Answer clip here. Why is there Hitler? Yo, what? That is that crazy. He's, uh, he's on Family Guy. It's not my fault. I'll tell you mine. It's popping? Oh, my. Give me a second. I'll plug it in a plug. This is Dante. Hello? Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty still cool. popping. Nope. Well, how far into the recording are we? Uh, 34 minutes. That's not bad. Um... Like, mine is, like, a minute or so, so, like, 33. So, like, 30 minutes, basically. Yeah. Do we want to keep it going, or do we want to close it off? Let's just keep going. What do we want to talk about, then? Just just think about things. Um, what we were talking about earlier, the anagrams. What? Eh. I'm good. Take the dang test. Take your test! I don't want to. That's quick. Take good. your test! I don't like it. Don't you like what? Monkey. It's putting me into a box of who they think I want to be, but I just want to be my own person. Amen. You didn't let me get to my Preach topic. Huh? I was going to go off of that. Off of what? Be your own person. Be you. Be yourself. Be real? Be who you want to be. Be real didn't go off today. Oh, my God. It's going to at, like, 12. Like always. Or, like, 11.30 or something. It's going off at 11.59. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to have your be real missing. Yep. I love when they do that. 
Guys, I have a question for you. What? Should Daniel get be real? Should Daniel get be real? We didn't call our special guest. Oh, we don't need to do that. Oh. S- she'll be in the next one. No, Daniel. Are you are you on God's play? <laughs> Should I call him? Yeah. If you really want to, Go bud. for it. Whatever you want, bud. It is like 10.30 at night, he's so. That's fine. I've woken him up before. Okay. I'll text him if he's up. I'll, I won't bother his Say you here. up. You up? Question mark. <laughs> You're sending him an are you up text? Yeah. Oh! The boba. Oh! Okay, oh! I'll grab it. Boba segment. Boba, boba, boba. Boba, good. First time I had it was at a VBO, and that stuff was bussin'. Stop itching your butt. I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. I can't see. <laughs> With my iPad. Mic. My microphone. Get your Cheeto fingers off the good mic. Uh, oh my it's God. my show. Stop itching your butt. Okay, Can guys. I get two of them? I, I need How many are there? Four. There's four. That's fine. I bought them. Uh, you guys have a question for the podcast viewers? Please comment down. Um, Is it normal to take a poop every couple, like, out, like every hour? No. It's not. Okay, but why? Okay, I okay. Take a- oh, wait, wait, wait. Shut up. <laughs> okay. It is normal to take a poop after throw, every like meal you have. Found it. Don't throw mine. Wait, what? What'd you say? I said it's normal to take a poop every meal you have. Why? Because that's how you know you had a good meal and your body is getting rid of it. Okay. No, I literally poop every other day. Daniel's it's been up. weird. He's up calm. Ask him if he wants to listen to our bubble segment. I want to say hi to him. Get ready for our special guest, Daniel Goins. Daniel oh Goins. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my Was he mad about that? Yeah. Not mad, but he made him. He made a big deal out of it. You are. I'm up too. You'll never guess what we're doing. What are you doing? We're recording our podcast. Your Noise. special guest. Noise. Say hi. We love you. And we got Bubba without you. I love you. Dante loves you. And we got Bubba without you. We got what? Boba. Again? Again? <laughs> <laughs> we'll save you the last one. Okay, good. No, we won't. I'm going to drink it. Never mind. I'm joking. False hope. Okay. We're big jokes. But we love you. Love you too. Have See fun. Bye. I miss you. No, you don't. Okay, we love you, Daniel. Okay, now rolling into our segment we like to call Boba, Boba time. Boba tea. Why are you? Dante's moaning again. I'm not. I'm just trying to open my straw. Oh my god. Remember when I struggled opening, uh, trying to pop it? Oh, I'm gonna go f- from a distance. I'll just come in. I can record it. Ah. <sighs> Guys, you're getting a first hearing of the behind the scenes of Dante trying to got, get a boba thing. I did it. He did it. I don't know if you if you're picking it up, but he did it. That was for sure. Oh, Family Guy's still going up on the ceiling. Family Guy is still going up on the ceiling. Just so you know. <laughs> I forgot. None of us can hear it, but Zach. First episode. Yep. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Why I got freaking boba juice on my mic. I got that new Boba mic, huh? This one's not bad. It's the same one we had last time. I know, time. but it was warm. You had yours warm? Mine was cold. I literally got it out of the fridge last time. No, it was warm. You liar. No, I'm not. You, you pissed liar. on yours then. <laughs> okay. That's kind of weird. I'm just saying the facts. Alright, guys, I have a question. Is yes. GTA bad to play? No. Okay. I have a serious answer for that. If my kid was like, hey, dad, can I play GTA? I'd be like, nah. Let me explain. If he's 15, yes, he can play. 15 and up. Yeah. Because I played GTA um, when I lived in New York when I was like seven. And look how I turned out. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. That proves my point. No. I'm from New York, too. No, you're not. Shut up, you country boy. Country road. He's from the west side of Florida. 
<laughs> yeah. I feel like it depends. It depends what you're using it for. Mm-hmm. What, I, GTA? I, yeah. Well, I just played it just to play it because my friends had it. But my parents didn't know I had it, so I had to hide it from them. Shannon, don't listen to this. Do you still not know you have it? Oh, she knows I have it. She walks in on me playing it all the time. Dude. Here, let me pull let me pull up my hours on five M. Give me a minute. So my parents' opinion was no go until like fi- like fifteen sixteen. Yeah. But then again, my parents didn't buy me gaming consoles, uh PC, nothing. I was homeschooled. I got the family Macintosh at the end of the hallway. That's crazy. Yeah, and that's all we it had. had. The same Mac had as in the house right now. And Eventually we got two. Those, those are new ones. No, it was just the it was just the iMac. It wasn't the whole tower Macintosh thing. Do you have the tower now? No. Sorry, just need to clarify. I just said Macintosh because it sounds funny. Um, but yeah, we had just had two family computers for a while, and that was it. And then I and then I like started getting money because I got older, and then I was like, I'm I'm an adult now. I can buy stuff and do stuff. So I did. So I bought an Xbox Series S. I remember when you did that. And then I was like, I'm going to do whatever. You've kept I'm the doing. box since. It's been like two years? I've had the. No, I've only had it for like a year. So you've had it for like two years? No, a year, bro. I bought it last year, af- the day, the last day of the weekend. Like on a Sunday? Yeah. That's you bought it from Saturday to Sunday. So you no, bought I it bought it that Sunday evening. Of that Sunday? Yeah. So like just of the normal weekend, like a year ago, yeah. basically a year and some odd months. Okay. Okay. Because the last weekend was like what February? Yeah. Yeah. So it was like. What's the weekend? Uh, it's just like a thing. Like a two day a week thing. Uh huh. Like Saturday to Sunday. <coughs> you know what's hard to like think uh, about? Excuse me. Is that Sunday is the start of the week? Why do we call it the weekend? So listen. Because it's the week's end. No, because the week's beginning. People well, have different preferences s- when the week starts. I consider Monday the start of the week. When you say, yeah. when you list off the days, do you go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? No, I, I don't. Go, do I go that. Monday to Sunday. Because I, it's hard to think about. Is that you're like okay, the weekend. So the when why? Yeah. It but is. Saturday and Sunday count as the weekend for school. Because mm-hmm. it's the week's end. It's weird I to think start, about. I start my weeks on Monday. Yeah. See? But why do we say Sunday is the start of the week? It makes no sense. When everything starts I on Monday. I don't call it the start of my week. I don't either, but it's just like weird that people do. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I don't know. It's weird. It is weird. Because people are weird. Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday is the week's end. So, it should Sunday should not be the start of my week. I know. Because it's not. But yeah, that's that. Pretty cool. Should we should go through our screen time? Okay. I so I just searched. I have a pretty low screen time. I just searched that up. Okay. Uh, it says Monday is according to international standard uh, standards. Monday is considered the first day of the week. Monday. Ah, interesting. Boom. Monday is the start of the week. You heard it here first. That, yeah. So anybody that calls Sunday the start of the week, wrong. Monday. Okay. Wrong. Screen okay. time. My screen time is a daily average of five hours. Mine's four. That's a problem. Four hours and twenty seven minutes. Wow. Mine okay. is usually nine hours to twelve. I don't know why. Zach, what's yours? Um pulling it up. So this week it's six hours and forty one minutes. Oh that's just that, that was just today. Damn. Dang. Normally it's six. How do I see mine today? Oh, the way see all. So, so you're gonna. So go okay, I got, it, I got it. Yeah. So my t- my day was four hours twenty. Okay. So my we're week, close. My, my my weekly average is is like day no daily average sorry is five hours. Dang, I'm looking at June fourth through the eleventh. My screen time was only an hour and ten minutes. Wow. And now this week. My screen time is six hours, 
in 23 minutes. Very fun. So my normal daily average is 10 hours and 53 minutes. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You're spending almost half a day on your phone? Yeah. Today Jeez. I spent four hours, but my most used app for today was TikTok. That's bad. TikTok is taken over. Yeah. But my usually... Most used app is TikTok as well. But this whole week, my most used app was... Snapchat. My most used app is iMessage. My most used app is Snapchat always. Because most so of the times I fall asleep texting. So Yeah. So I just kind of have my phone screwed on for like an hour before it like falls asleep. So for me, Snapchat, my screen time for that, I have 11 hours and 12 minutes. And then for TikToks, only 9 minutes. Uh, sorry, 9 hours. In eleven minutes, like daily so or weekly. So my TikTok weekly. usage is four hours and, and uh, four and a half hours. Dude, I'm not making this up. What? Nine hours and eleven minutes. On what? TikTok. What is wrong <laughs> with you? <laughs> Jeez. Look at this. Look at this. How do I see that? Let me see. You go to you go to activity oh, okay. and you just go to you go to week and you sc- and you scroll down. Okay, back to GTA topic. Yeah, no, on. this is ridiculous, Zach. No, Nine no, no, no. hours. In 11 <laughs> minutes. In 11 <laughs> minutes? <laughs> on TikTok? Jeez, man. So. That, that, that's just this week. Okay, back to the GTA topic. I got five uh, five and a half hours on iMessage. That's kind of funny. Yeah, because I text you every freaking day. Or you and text me every day. My total screen time this week is 65 day. hours and wait, 23 wait, minutes. Wait, what? My my total screen time this week is 65 hours and 23 minutes. Oh, my minutes. gosh. What, what the heck are you what? watching? I'm trying to – so my most used app for that 65 is 12 hours and 42 minutes on TikTok. Oh, my. And then it goes Snapchat. I don't really use TikTok. I use Reels. It's 7 hours and 51. Instagram, 7. Messages, 1 hour, 55. I think your screen time says otherwise, bud. I know. It's weird. Those. I think it's because I don't close it much. When I fall asleep, I fall asleep on TikTok sometimes. So that's probably why. <coughs> oh, God. You saw a, a boba ball? We got the windpipe and stuff. But social, okay, so social is 29 hours and 59 minutes a week. Jeez, man. And then travel, 48 minutes. So that's my, my, my maps, my Google Maps. Yeah. And then utilities, 46. You're pretty good with directions, actually. I'm not bad with directions. I just always have, if I'm on the highway, that's when I use it most. Yeah, same. Or when I'm going I need to my directions for anywhere I go. Like when Except I use, if I'm going to, like, yeah. the grow. It's, wow, 12 hours? Bro, that's insane. My daily average is an hour and 18 minutes for Snapchat. And then my daily average for TikTok is two hours. Bro, that's crazy. Huh. Guys, comment down below your screen time. That would be funny. Okay. What? Back to the GTA topic. Okay, what's the GTA Go topic? Okay. Guess how many hours I've spent period on 5M. You're uh, on 100, 100 plus. You have to give me a number between 1 and 500. 500. Dante? 300. 499. <laughs> 403 hours, which is equal to Zach. 16 days. You spent 16 days of your life Keep on mind, 5M? Half the time, I'll be doing other things on my laptop or my PC, but I'll leave, I'll leave the tab open. I won't close it. So yeah, but still, how long are you doing time. that? For like maybe an hour? Okay, so minus maybe 50 hours, maybe. Okay, the That's most. That's still like 380 something hours. The most. My my hours for GTA is 139.5. Total? Yeah, total. I don't play GTA online much because I don't have access you to it. You don't have access to so it. So my laptop. total is like 30. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Just look at Steam? Uh, yeah. What's your? Oh, I'm so congested. Sorry. Zach, you got something to clear my sinuses? Does it 43 or 400? Playtime. Zach. Nope. You got something to clear my sinuses? Actually, it might. Because your boy is a little stuffed up right now. You know what I've Whoa. thought about? We haven't really t- talked about ourselves ever on TTM. Oh, so this is the this is the true purpose of the podcast. This is your whole plan the whole time was to get us to be real with the viewers. Because we've never really like opened up. Holy crap! 
What? I've only spent three hours and twenty minutes. In on what? GTA. Like GTA? Just playing GTA. Oh, because you well you play five M. You don't play GTA. I know, but this is this is the database that counts everything. I know, but like still, you play five M, not GTA. Yeah. No, not GTA. GTA. There's this database besides it that counts all my hours. Oh. Uh. That I clicked W A S D. Okay. Dante farted. Dude, my stomach is messed Dante up. Dante farted. It's not cool. Josh, tell me about yourself. Okay, what do you want to know? Anything. Just don't be too personal. Why? Are you Wait, single? then what's the point? Are you yeah, single? are you single? We'll ask you questions. Are you single? No. Why? Why? Yeah. Because I have a life and I want to progress in life and I want to marry one what's day. What's your favorite thing? My what? Your favorite thing. Why? Like, thing as in like object? To do anything. My Stop favorite thing to do? That's, yeah. Probably play drums. Actually, it's like really therapeutic. <laughs> or drive. Why are you man? You have your me? permit, bro. Oh, no, well, okay, when I do drive, it's very therapeutic. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 that got in your eye. <laughs> no, I hit my forehead. <laughs> I just been hit with boba. Zach, are you Straight single? to the forehead at velocity. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do? I play GTA. <laughs> play 5M. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can tell, considering you're four and you 30 guys. hours. Oh, my Frank God. It's guys. sticky. I know. <laughs> 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 Shout out to that video. It's sticky. It's in it's my, in my hair. It's in my hair. Oh, that's good. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, not again, bro. Okay. Whew. What's your favorite thing to do? Dante, you single? No. What's your girlfriend's name? Holly. What's your, What's your favorite name? thing to do, Zach. Dante? <laughs> My favorite thing's got to be spending time with you guys. Not gonna. Oh! Lie. Not not gonna lie. I don't like being home. I like being out and about. But I love up, playing five man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tied under boba. Are we not giving it to Daniel? Oh, <laughs> we I'll record it giving. Case. Oh, yeah, we can figure it out. Yeah. Hey, hey. Um, no, wait, no. I can't give you this. You're going to hit me with more. No, I promise. <laughs> 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 well, okay, okay. Here I saw, go. let me swear. Here you go. Locked and loaded. Dante, when you are not able to do your favorite pastime, what is your second best thing? TikTok. I've spent 12 <laughs> hours. No, I'm, joking. I'm joking. I like playing bass. Playing what? Bass. Oh, playing bass. I think okay. playing bass is fun. I think it's yeah. It's easier now to do. Well, when you play it for so long, it's you yeah. Just like you, it's get, like it's an, get used to it. What's so interesting is that I'm better at v playing instruments and like singing and like all that than school. In feel, school? Then then school. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm for people who don't know context. I'm 19. Yeah. So I'm, I haven't been in school for like over a year. So I. I hated school. I hate it. I hated school I with a passion. I just, I could not focus on school. I don't know what it was, but like, no matter what I did, I could not zero in. No matter what I did. And even, like, yeah, even even as a homeschooler for like, majority of my schooling life, it was like, even though, like, I just could not do it. Like, just because I didn't like what I was doing. Is that why you don't go to college? Yeah, no, I'm not going to go to college at all. Is it's that not, why? It's not going to happen. Yes, because I know I won't be able to succeed. I feel like, succeed. for me, it's, I have to be, like, math. I hate math. My grandmother's a math teacher, but I, I can't. And I feel like it's one of those things that I have to be physically interested in. Yeah, History, so I'm fine. I can I learn. I have to enjoy what I'm doing yeah. to participate in it. If I have a good teacher as well. So if it's, like, a math class and I have a good teacher, then mm. bet. Like, I'm fine. Okay. So like I'm sticky. I'm sure you are. That's great, bud. My hair is sticky. Okay. Can I get a I Red wonder Bull? why. Huh? It's the Red Bull in the. Fr I got you. Nope. Thank you, bud. So I think it's one of those things where I have to be concentrated. I think nowadays it's showing more that just people need like just more help, help with learning and like socialization. Because half these kids started from the womb just glued to their iPads. Like okay, let's Gen Z, just Gen Z. Literally, so look at our freaking screen look at your time. You look at your guys' screen time. 
you're, you're like your Gen Z, I, I, right? Yeah, you're Gen Z. I am like at like the tippy tippy top of Gen Z. So tech, so like you, you're just like your mom. Like she she only uses her phone just for texting and to play no. games here and there. I don't have games on my phone. I have. You zero got games on your phone? I literally have zero games on my phone. I think I got phone? Pokemon Go. I oh, okay. Well, I have I have Pokemon Go, but like I you hardly don't really use play it. it much. No, I don't. I'm addicted I'll play it for some if reason. like you're on it or something. Okay, Literally, so my games you... are Kick the Buddy, Smashy Road, Pokemon Go, and Among Us. That's it. Okay. The only game I have in my phone that I'd be dead on is just Pokemon Go. Really? Yeah, same. No, like I only have like the the only like you saw I I only have like four and a half hours on TikTok. And in like an hour and a half on Instagram. Are you mostly on Reels? No. You use TikTok. Yes, I'm a TikTok. You use TikTok. I use both. You use I, both. I, I use both. I will once in a blue moon scroll Reels. You did last night. I did last night. <laughs> it was, you it sent was me some. Funny. The only, the well, only because, way. That's because my girlfriend was sending me a bunch. She was like, okay, I'm, a, I'm same. I'm, a, I'm a send her when, back. When when Holly sends me Reels, I'll go on Reels. I'll send I'll send some back. <laughs> but like my Reels. On my main uh, account. I wanna, I wanna talk about this. What? Um, the how. We how how that Zach single. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> how society needs to adjust for the new generation, because the new generation needs more help than what it's getting. What happened about talking about our life? No, I think this is a this good is a topic. good topic. I don't care. I want because I'm passionate about this. Well, like what me and you were talking about last night. Yeah. The world really, really adjusts to worldly things. That's what we were. Uh, that's a kind of a little string. But what do you let mean? Me, let me let me go for it. Talk my mind real quick. So basically, what what I'm trying to say is that we live now where people that are running things were raised as you're fine figure it out you can do it you don't need help just get through it just work through it like that's all the old like the old people now like not like old people but like people between their 40s through ah zach people's between their like their their third like late 30s to mid 50s are you talking about just the parents oh, okay. of gen z okay okay, okay parents okay. of gen z now yeah live like we're raised as you can you can figure it out you're fine just deal with it just figure it out that's the parents now they need to be they need to be more hands on with their kids and they need to like come down to their level meet them where they're at and be like hey what do you need help with let's go figure let's go find something to help you better with academics social skills um being home being feeling like you can be home Feeling like you can go call somebody about um, what your what your mind is thinking, all that all that stuff. I think like the these parents now need to come down to our level and not like just because like yeah the way that they were raised wasn't right. I in my opinion like the way that like parents from the age late thirties to to mid fifties need to understand that there's. There's just new problems with this generation now that they need to adjust to the new generation. Yes, Zach. Oh, so I just looked it up for uh, depression rate for Gen Z. Uh huh. Uh, it says a survey found that more Gen Z reporting have been diagnosed with anxiety disorder or depression. 18% of uh, Gen Z has reported anxiety disorder, and 23. I've been uh, diagnosed with depression. So, okay, so that's that's a good one. One reason I think it's, it's like that for the parents that are in their thirties to forties is when you're. My parents don't shelter me, but they got sheltered in that age, or it was either come home when the street lights turn off, or stuff like yeah. that. That's how their parents were raised. I was told when the sun goes down. Yeah, but I feel like it's either those kids were sheltered. Or they were told, come home when, when the street lights or the sun goes down. Come home. So it's either... No, I don't think so. That's how I think. Yeah, no. No, bro. My, that's how Joey... That's not how my, like, my siblings were raised. No, dude. That's not how my parents were raised at all. Like, like it depends. 
the, no, for sure. I, I, I totally agree. It depends on the person. It depends on how they were raised. But I say vast majority were, you can figure it out. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I just pulled up another one. Okay. And it says now, this this was from 2022. 2022. So this is when COVID and stuff was still in effect. Kind of, it's yeah. Yeah. It kind said of. Gen Not Z, really. Young adults, 19 through 24, have found that 20, f- sorry, 42% have been Now, wait, what age? 19 to 24. 19 to 24 are what? Uh, diagnosed with gen- uh, di- depression. Yeah. What is that percentage? 42. 42 percent. Okay, forty-two percent of nineteen to twenty-four year olds are diagnosed with depression. That's even more than Gen Z. Yeah, that's like the the butt end of millennials. Yeah. Like, have you seen like? Where was I gonna go with that? Oh, like, there. Like I was saying, there's either parents that cared a lot, or don't. Uh, it's, or it's didn't don't care. At all. care. See, so big thing, mental health does not they. My parents do not get mental health. Mm-hmm. Like, they will – they'll hear it and be like, just figure it out. You, you can control your mind. You can control what you're thinking. You can control everything. But now you – like, nowadays, people aren't as tough-skinned as they were. Like, that's just how it is. And Very sensitive people. There is yeah. a lot of sensitive yeah. people now. I'm not saying that, like – everybody's too sensitive and everybody's like uh, like all those new generations too sensitive because that's what i'm trying to go up against is like those people that say that because now that like quote unquote sensitivity level is now kind of like the the standard and i'm not saying that that's a bad thing but i'm not saying that's a good thing either like uh, us all three of us know that i didn't go to school for two months Mm -hmm. like that's how that's just how it is like parents are like it's either okay. We're gonna go see a therapist, or you're you're faking this. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't go to school for two months because I could not. Like what we were talking about, I with school, I can't do it. Yeah. But it's also that my anxiety was so high, as a Gen yeah, Z like, and just as a person that I couldn't just do it. More prominent in kids nowadays, and that's just how it is. So, parents just saying, oh, like. We, you can figure it out. Like, I don't stop acting like this. Like, this is not how I raised you. Stop acting like yeah. this. Like, you gotta understand that these kids are not growing up in the same time as as they as you guys were. Like, these kids are not growing up this in the same climate and in, in the same society as we were. Yeah, having older parents is different than having younger parents. Because, mm-hmm. like, since mm-hmm. I live with my grandparents, they're she's sixty, he's seventy five. 76, to where it's like, okay, they got to adjust to the times, which is really hard for them. Yeah. Like, my grandfather, he was very much in different generations. <laughs> like, he when he, he yeah. flipped a car at one point, and his parents were on his butt. Mm-hmm. Now, it's either they're on your butt, like, your parents now are on your butt because you have parents that are 50 or younger, or they're very much, I don't care, or they level out with you to an extent – where they're too leveled out and they're friends with you and they don't care. You got you it's either you got to yeah. level out with your kid, but you also got to be you also got to be strict sometimes. So my yes sir. Uh what I was going to bring up is more parents that are I feel like between the ages of 30 to 20 don't care about anything of if like let's say they just had a child. Yes. They don't care. They're they're chill about I, it. I I I agree. They, they don't care about things. So, yeah. Because they want to have those I kids to have the life they always wanted. True. Which isn't bad. No, inherently it's not bad. Because if that, they let their child their go and let their child do whatever they want, then that child's going to be a brat. That's when it gets and worse. Then they're not going to learn their standards. And then we have a Zach. Then we okay. have Zach. <laughs> I'm in between. <laughs> you're, yeah. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. It's Zach's one of those, mature. It's one of those things where it's... I'm mature. You are. I, that's what you I just c- said. You can be. I heard immature. Oh, no. Zach, I said uh, Zach is mature. So. I can agree with immature. <laughs> you can be. You can be both. It's I'd say majority you're mature. From having two sets of parents is my mom was very much, yo, you do you. You do what you want. You, you, you queen. Yeah, really. It was more like, I don't, you can come home whenever you want. Stuff like that. Or when, and then having my grandparents where it's like, 
you gotta be home at this time. I would prefer having you gotta be home at this time because it shows that you care instead of come yeah. home whenever because like, yeah, whatever, you could care less where I am. Please. Like, just come and go as you please. Yeah. Type, type beat. So, I want to give. I want to talk a bit about my girlfriend's parents because they're a really good model in my mind. Basically, her parents. Okay, I just thought of something else that I want to talk about after. Go it's like same same general topic. Her parents are are warm and loving, but still have times where they need to be strict about things. Yeah. So they, I don't know what it is, but they've figured out the balance of how to be friendly, how to be friends with their kids. And she's a little bit older now. How was it when she was younger, like as a teenager? Huh? Because Kendall's 18. Yeah. How was it when she was, like, 16? Same thing. Same thing? Yeah. So they found some great balance of um, we can still be friends with our kids and we can still talk to our kids and still make jokes with our kids, but still, like, be a parent and, like, talk to them about hard things and still be a little strict with them about some topics. Yeah. And it, it and it's fine because they've built a relationship with them and, they, and they've joked with them about things in the past. So, I don't know what they did, but they figured something out. Fri- they figured something out. And, also, this is what I just thought about before I st- started this. So, something really cool that this one guy I follow on YouTube said was there's – think about parenting as a one-dimensional line. And on one end of the line, there's warmth and one end of the line – there's like um um I don't know it's like dullness or like heart heartless type thing or something like that. So most people will look at that line for vast majority of parents and say you're either too nice to your kids or you're not nice to your kids at all, and you're strict, warm and strict. Like you're either too warm or you're or you're too cold or s- whatever whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. So. That's vast majority of how people view parents. And I already said, now let's change it into a two-dimensional line. So they'll think about it as two lines, one going horizontally and then one going vertically. Uh-huh. So now you're able to go – you're able to mix your warmth and your coldness. You're, you're able to still be – Author like you, you're able to still have authority, but you can add warmth to your for- to your authority, and lovingness to your authority, so that way your child doesn't see you as just this authoritarian figure in their life that just wants to do what you want and wants to listen to you and wants to just do do it whatever you say, type thing. But yeah. if you if you you can still be loving and warm with your kids. And still have authority, but you gotta build your warmth first you before you add authority. Yeah. So that that was that's what I was thinking of. It's so interesting because as getting older, your parents kind of calm down with you a little bit more. They can trust you more, stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, I de- but depends on the it family. depends on the yeah. family. But for me, at M- least, I'd say most most things most, most families most yeah. families. So like. A lot of the kids in Windermere definitely are very much. It's fifty fifty. From what yeah, I've seen, it's fifty fifty. So but it depends on their background and everything. Yeah. But yeah, I. But hear my ya. parents at least are. As I get older, as a seventeen year old, almost going on eighteen, they're like more chill with me. They're more. They can more. They can trust me more. They give me a little bit more free will. Uh huh. But it's one of those things that you got, like you were saying. You got to make a balance. You got to have warmth, but you yeah, also you got to be a little bit strict. You gotta. Ha- you have to be loving with your authority or else because a kid like especially at a young age a kid has to one know you love them and has to two feel that you love them and if there's two that's feeling and knowing are two completely different things if your child doesn't feel your love they're not going to it's never gonna fully click. That so your I kid just th- loves them. I just thought about it. So I was like, let me look it up. Uh-huh. The percent. What is the percentage of depression in- is caused by family? Okay. So that's that w- ooh, that's an interesting statistic. So let me read this. Okay. That is the cause of ma- for major depression. Her ability is probably 
forty to fifty percent. Wait, what? Say that again. Her herbitability. What is that? I don't know. Hold on, I'm walking over there. It's probably forty. I think that's what it says. It's probably forty to fifty percent. So it's around fifty percent of the cause is genetics. Fifty percent for depression and herbitability. What is that? Zach, what is herd ability? Can you look that up for me? <laughs> no. Okay. That's fine, too. Um, it's probably 40 to 50 percent. It might be higher for several depression. This could mean that in most cases of depression, around 50 percent of the causes is genetic, and around 50 percent is unrelated to genes. Physiology. Uh, a lot of big words. A lot of big words. A lot but of big words. What's it's around fifty percent of the cause is genetics, and around fifty percent is unrelated to genes. Well, but it doesn't even. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't even just have to be genes that you get depression from. Okay. I was looking at that chart earlier. It was hard to understand, but so I, my whole thing with parents coming down to this generation's level and actually helping them, meeting them where they're at and actually helping them with what they need is don't be so hard-headed. Listen to your kids. Listen to what they have to say and try to understand what they're saying and get other people's uh, views and opinions on them on that and not just be like, oh, it's not what I want and you're not doing what I want, so you're a bad kid. It's like, like what we were stop. talking about <laughs> yesterday. Like I just read this chart. 15% of teens suffered from a, a major depress depressive episode in the past year. This came out in 2023. Ooh, okay. And 60% of teens with depression did not get treated treatment in the past year. I know I, know I didn't. <laughs> like, I, I think <laughs> like I think you said this yesterday to me that every person, even if they are problems or not, could cr could benefit from therapy. Yeah, I'd say, like, Everybody needs to at least try therapy. It, you need to at least try therapy three times. If you don't like your first therapist, go to another one. And if you don't like that one, try it one more time. Three strikes, and if it still doesn't work, then I'd and, say... And don't stay with the same one for nine years. Sure. <laughs> but if, if, one th if your first therapist doesn't work, find another one. If, if your second therapist doesn't work, give it one more try. And if your third parent does, therapist doesn't work, therapy is not for you. Because yeah. then that means that more than likely, it's therapy is just not for you. These charts are really interesting that are popping up. In yeah, now that, like, when you really look at the numbers, like, it's not even just like this the generation numbers. really isn't getting the help they need. Like, tw uh, this came out in 2020, uh, in 2020, top 10 children health concerns among 2020. All yeah, but this is an interesting chart. And this is before or after COVID. This has got to – it doesn't really say. It's got to I mean, be during. It's, it's got to be during. It's got to be during. Uh, uh, overuse of social media for health concerns uh -huh. from parents is 72%. Bullying and cyberbullying, 62 Internet safety, 62 Unhealthy eating, 59 okay. Depressive and suicide, 54 Jeez. I, I understand what these – uh, That's got to be like at the end of the year or something. I under, I agree with them because 2020 was the year with everything went downhill. Yeah, people where everybody died. went downhill. Hold on, there's a, a lot, lot more people died. died. Lacks of a uh, lack of physical activities, 54. In 2020, nobody oh could really gosh. go out. <laughs> Stress and anxiety, 54. Smoking and vaping, 52. Drinking or using drugs, 50. COVID, 48. But this this all makes sense because everyone's trapped indoors. Yeah, yeah. Like everyone was trying to find their coping. The COVID, COVID mechanism, mechanism to stop. Even to think of it. Turn to weed. What, ma what makes me think <laughs> about it is where it says cyberbullying. <laughs> it yeah. stopped the well, second high. Because everybody was trying to talk everyone was online, online, but they were getting si That's so th like crazy to think about. Because I was in seventh grade when COVID happened, and it was all online. Whoa. Seventh, eighth. Because I went homeschooled eighth and ninth. Okay. To where it's easier to get. Yeah, it's karma. Got those headphones. <laughs> is that bullying? Was at a second time high because of cyberbullying. What do you also like as a kid? What else you gotta do? You got no, nothing. No, literally. Start nothing. some beef. Like no. Just Kids start these beef days. And see what happens. 
have to go fight the outside and see what happens. Ah. The kids died. Yep. But it's also funny to say, not funny, <laughs> sad. <laughs> Very sad. My bad. Over East of social oh, media. Oh, so funny. Because as, I wasn't on my phone much before COVID. I was more outside. And where it says overuse of social media in, in 2020, think about it now. You know, that, if it was at 72% in 2020. I didn't get a phone until 2021. Don't even go. I was just <laughs> iPhone like F. You're, didn't you have an SE and it was like I shattered and S- bent? I SE second gen and I sh- – okay. Well, I broke it after like 10 months of having it. I've had this phone for a year and the only thing that's broken – like a year and a half probably. No, yeah, year and a half except the charging port You is told broken. me two years. I think it's – I don't remember. The, well. It's probably like a year it's and a half. It's a year and a half to two it's years. coming up on two. What, what I have a ch- I have a question about chicken places actually I just thought about this oh, oh my gosh what how are we gonna hop top it <laughs> I, I just like po- uh, just popped chicken. in chicken let's <laughs> just popped in my oh uh, let's see I'm kind of craving can't chicken can't think of anything chicken no I I honestly have thought about this chicken is versatile there's three chicken places in Florida that are very big in my mind okay I wanna I wanna hear this Louie Magoo's whoa. Chick- who in the goose is good? I know. But, but, to- but okay. Not okay. top. No, just continue. Not top. Top in my brain. Okay. Who in the goose? Chick fil A. PDQ. Pop- PDQ? Popeyes, on there. Popeyes, too. PDQ? Popeyes is- Have you had PDQs? Mm, yes. Once. It's not bad. Okay, here's my top chicken places to go. <laughs> if I want a so chi- something with chicken in it, this is where I'm going to go. Where? Number one, Chick Fil A. Well, yeah. Number two. Number okay, Zach's being weird. Number two. Zach's being a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't not. Okay, number number <laughs> two. Number two. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking. I don't have a lot of chicken places. I just we just got Chick Fil A near us. Uh, what's another place that serves yeah, near me quality you. chicken? Popeyes? No, I'm not a Popeyes goer. It's okay. I don't like Popeyes if on like a road trip or something. I'd say chicken place number two. Uh huh. Culver's. Oh, that that's good. <laughs> I like it. I like Culver's. Culver's is good. I've only had their burgers. Okay, you need their chicken tenders, bro. They're freaking fire. Uh, number three, number three chicken place, AMC Dine-In. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ah. I only said that to trigger Dante. And that's where we end the podcast. No, no, I only said it to trigger Dante. Don't, um, don't go there. Number three chicken place when I want something with chicken in it. I don't know off the top of my head. Welcome back to TTM Radio. And this is the number one podcast in the world. Okay. All right, Logan Paul. I get you. Guys, I, I hope you. you know we've. This is like it's eleven o'clock right now, so okay. we're like we've had Red Bull, oh, boba. Yeah. We're going Dr. Pepper. We're going ham. We're we're sick of mode. An interview, huh? That that's our topic. Zach, what's your review. dream car? I've told you this one hundred times. It's a Honda Civic, right? It's uh, it's an orange Honda Civic with a black racing stripe, that stripe down the middle, and then with the red calipers. The rims, I think, just need to be silver. Solid. I, I feel like... What's up? My girlfriend's sister drives a Honda Civic. Oh, my God. They're so hot. Bro, she was whipping it. We were driving they're fast, for, too. No, they're good. Like I, she, I ha- she has the Sport. And we were... Yeah, we were driving... I think she has the Sport. I could ask, but it doesn't really matter. We were driving to an escape room um, near yeah, Margaritaville. Escape, did you? No, we, we didn't. But we were driving to an escape room... Edge, dude, she was whipping it. Those things can whip. I'm gonna ask call her. I'm gonna call her and ask if her sister drives that. Should she be a guest? Maybe. You're on the podcast. Don't be racist. Um, doesn't your doesn't Faith drive a sport Honda Civic? Yeah. Oh yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I love them. Okay, thank you. That's all I needed. Bye, Holly. Unless you want to be a guest for a second. She already is a guest. Okay. Tell us about you. No. <laughs> okay, okay, I love you. Cutting Bye. it out. It won't let me hang up. Oh, crap. There we go. 
bro, but she was whipping it. She was speeding. No, she wasn't. She was going the speed limit. Who cares? I whip it. I do the nay nay. Now watch me whip. Bro, Zach. Josh has been peeing so much today. Have you noticed that? Yes. Dude, he's been pe- Because he's- we've been drinking a lot. Bro, he took a piss like not even 30 minutes ago. Was it 30? No, because we've been doing this for an hour. Not even like. I'm really going to do two things in this song. Um, he took a piss like. I don't even know when. Take a piss? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm just curious. Oh, I gotta piss. Go. He's in the bathroom. <laughs> Go upstairs. No. Is your mom upstairs? Yeah. Oh, I thought she was downstairs. Nope, she sleeps upstairs. Was that the guest room downstairs? Yep. Oh, so I could have pooped so loudly if I wanted? No, because her room is directly underneath. Oh. I'm going through my photos. They're kind of funny. So I just created a Podbean account That's for cool. you losers that probably already know about it. Um, I think our streaming sites will just be the main ones here. I'll list them all out. We'll be on Apple Podcasts. That's all I know for right now. <laughs> we'll catch you guys up whenever we get there. Here, let me figure it out. Where is, bro, is he still peeing? He's probably peeing or getting water. I don't blame him for whatever he's doing. There he is. Okay, I actually have a question. So, you know... I am back. Hi, welcome Uh, back. You know how there are three really big talent shows? Oh, wow, we have pivoted. You got The Voice. Okay. You got American Talent. Okay. You got American Idol. Okay. I feel like The Voice has been on for too long. Let me explain my opinions on these three shows. The Voice has been on for... I don't even know how long. (laughs) And then you've gone through a series of judges. Adam Levine, all the original judges are gone because Blake Shelton has left the show. Uh Then you've got American Idol. Like, like why? Okay. And then you've got America's Got Talent. AGT, very good. I think it's because it's singers... But it's also just co- comedian and stuff like that. I feel like that I can watch because it's always There's new. something different basically every time. With The Voice, I feel like it's so overdone. I feel like it should be canceled. And then American Idol. Yeah. I hate Katy Perry. And that's the re- one reason I hate that show. Top out. Huh? I'm going to the bathroom. I, uh, okay. TTM Radio. That was the quickest bathroom break ever. I took a poop on accident. Oh. oh right. on, wait, you pooped yourself? No, I just was like sitting there and I was like, wait, I have to poop. You pooped your, yourself. I didn't poop myself. Oh. No, I didn't. He said, oh no. Oh, can I tell the Panda Express story? No, not on here. <laughs> oh, That's a little too personal. Oh. We're going personal, but not personal. Josh, you have anything else to tell us about you? I like taking long walks on the beach. Zach, you have Josh, anything else to tell us about you? What are your hobbies? Yeah, nothing. Wow. Okay. I love you. I'm joking. What are your hobbies? Um. Okay. Drinking, driving. I, I really <laughs> like uh, tinkering with stuff. I do too. Like just like building things and like taking them apart or like figuring out how things work. I really yeah. like doing that. Yeah. Um, let's see, I'll just, like building in general, building things, tinkering with things, and then there. Oh, stop, stop, Dante. I'm I don't want to look at that. <laughs> you put a monkey on the screen. I don't know oh. what to look at that. <laughs> you put a monkey on the screen. I was like, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> um, oh, I definitely didn't. <laughs> okay, uh, what are your hobbies? Nothing. I don't really do Putting monkeys on in this monitor. It wasn't a monkey! <laughs> yes, I, feel, I feel like my hobbies are hanging out with friends. Playing 5M. Playing 5M, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then also lighting. I feel like my hobby is playing Lighting is my job. Thank you very much. I only really have one hobby. I have two. It's hanging out with friends and then music, but that's it. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all we have. I think that's really all we have.
off the top of our heads. Okay. Uh, who wants to outro it? Josh introed it. Zach, you can outro it. Okay. So, thank y'all for enjoying our podcast. Yeah. I hope so. How long is this? Uh, an hour and thirty minutes. Nice. That's not bad. I hope. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, our streaming websites should be uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, I think Amazon Music, and then iHeartRadio. You guys will see it in the description. All yeah. our all of our connecting points. So yeah, Zach, thanks thanks for letting us know about that. Again, guys, um, follow us on social media. On ins- we're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, uh, and YouTube. That's like our main socials. Yeah. Um, Zach, send us off. We are TTM Radio. Three men, three mics, three topics. TTM Radio out. <laughs>